Two things must be clarified first. If we are already subscribed to the script, be it the free plan or one of the paid plans, then the features that we have currently will remain unchanged. We will not be forced to change to one of the new paid tires. These old plans will just now be referred to as legacy plans. Only if we stop our subscription and restart our subscription again, then we would have to subscribe to one of the new plans and we will lose our legacy status. Also, switching our current legacy plan can also result in termination of our legacy plan and we might have to join one of the new plans. The second thing to mention is that only the name of these plans have changed to better reflect which plan is best suited for which type of work. The actual price is actually the same. What has changed is that some of the AI features have been moved around to better accommodate the resources that are used by these AI features. So if you are not on the free or enterprise plan, which is a customizable plan, then we would have to pay $144 a year if you are on the annual plan for the hobby star and $288 for the creator plan a year and $480 a year if you are on the business plan. If you are on the monthly subscription, then we would have to pay a little more for each of these plans. Now let's see which plan is best for which type of work. Here we can see all the features, all the numerous features that are available in the script. But in my experience, there are three things that we have to consider when choosing a plan. These things are how many hours of video are you going to create in a month? And how much of overdub or text-to-speech do you plan on using? And the third is do we need advanced video-related AI features? These advanced AI video features are maintaining eye contact, where if you are reading a script and are unable to look at the camera, then this AI feature will make sure that our line of sight is towards the camera. Now, another one is that this translate captions options, which translates the transcript of our video into one of the 23 languages that are available in this script. And this professional AI suite allows us to edit these captions. Though this does not seem like a video feature, but the thing is that it also changes our mouth movement to match the changed audio. So this is necessary if there is a presenter in our video or a speaker is present in the video, then if we translate the transcript in some other language, the script will match the lip movement to the newly translated language. But as you can see, this feature is still in beta and early testers are welcome here. This script is very, very good at translating captions. But if there are any mistakes, I import the subtitle or captions file in Notepad or YouTube itself and correct it there. This eye contact and translate captions, which are part of the advanced AI suite in the script, are available from Creator Tar. And the correction of the translated captions, which is part of the professional AI suite in this script, and the corresponding upcoming lip syncing to the newly translated audio feature are available in the business tier and also in the enterprise tier when we discuss with the Descript team for this feature. The basic AI features are available in every plan. These include the studio sound, which automatically removes any background noise, and green screen and filler word removal, and imagine shortening of word gaps, creating blog posts and social posts from our video, and creating clips and highlights, and all these things. Now, as for overdub, if you plan on using overdub a lot, then it is better to go for the creator plan because it allows for 100 uses of regenerate and overdub features a month, which is more than enough in my opinion. But if you want, you can also go for the business plan, which has unlimited overdub option. And lastly, the transcription hours, which corresponds to how many hours of video we want to create a month. If we notice here, we can see that transcription hours are 
counted as per editor per month. So if we are using Descript alone, then in the free tier, we can use one hour of transcription a month. So that can be four 15 minute long videos a month. For two people, so we together can make two hours of transcription per month. And for the hobbyist and creator and business tier, the limits are 10 hours per month per editor, 30 hours per month per editor, and 40 hours per month per editor. So this brings us to the changes to the memberships in the new Descript. Now in Descript, there are three types of members, the editors, the basic members, and the viewers. Among these three, only the editor members require the space owner to pay for every editor that is added. And that is why an editor member is available in all plans, because the cost of the usage by the editors is paid separately. But the payment for the basic members and viewers are included in the subscription plan. That is why viewers are available in the creator, hobbyist, and free plans, and the basic members are available in the business and legacy plans. Now, the viewers can view our videos, and if there is only an owner of the drive space and one viewer, that means we have two hours of subscription drive. This is also same for the basic members as well as the editors. They also contribute to the monthly transcription limit. I find that the viewer membership is most useful if we create courses. Then we can create links to the course videos in the script and share them with the learners that are part of our course. We can also use this viewer membership to test different ads. If we create ads or test the response to different videos that we are creating in Descript. Now the basic members can have their own private space inside our drive. So in Descript, there is a private workspace and a drive space. And the drive space is a shared space among all members. And private workspaces can be assigned to both basic members and editor members. The basic members can manipulate the video within their private workspace. They can copy a video from the drive space that has been assigned to the basic member and bring that into their private space and then modify and edit it as they like. What they cannot do is export, publish, or share this video. They can only publish a short composition of less than five minutes and without any layers. So the way to use this basic membership is that if we have someone to help us edit our videos. After editing a video, they can post a short message of less than five minutes to let us know that they're done editing. Then we can bring that video and export, publish, and share it as we want. The basic member can only delete that copied video that they have copied into their private space. The project will still be present in the shared drive space. And as for the editor, an editor has almost all the same capabilities as the drive space owner. Like the basic member, they can copy a project into their own space and edit and manipulate it as they want. They can also publish and share the edited video without any restrictions. But when it comes to deleting projects, like the basic members, they can only delete the projects that they own. The project will still be present in the shared drive workspace. So editor memberships in the script can be for organizations that have different departments that work on different projects for the organization. And each department can have an editor that can work independently. These are the main changes that have occurred in Descript right now. We can use this matrix, the necessity for memberships, the necessity for transcription hours, the necessity for overdub, and the necessity for the video AI features to determine which plan is best for us. Currently, I create and edit all my videos myself, so I do not have any members. And length of my videos every month do not exceed 10 hours. Also, I narrate all of my videos myself. I only use overdub and regenerate to fix some mistakes sometimes. So 10 uses per month is good for me. And most of my videos are just like the ones you see now. They are a demonstration 
that are mostly screen capture and videos that I have recorded elsewhere. So there are no active speakers on my videos. So this eye contact and the upcoming lip sync with the translated captions is not necessary for me right now. In the future, it may change. But considering all these things, a minimum requirement for overdub and minimum necessity for the eye contacts and other video features, and also not having more than 10 hours of video every month and being without any members. Currently, my options are either the hobbyist plan or the creator plan. The deciding factor is the ability to translate my captions. So after much consideration, I'm staying with my previous legacy plan. Because as you can see that I cannot translate captions in the hobbyist plan, I have to upgrade to the creator plan. But in my current legacy plan, I have limited numbers of times that I can translate my captions. I am waiting for Descript to add one of the languages that I can speak, which is Bangla, to its lists. If it does that, then I will seriously consider upgrading to the creator plan because that would mean I would not have to use other apps to translate my video into my desired language. Recently, I have just been using ChatGPT to translate my videos into languages that are not supported by Descript. Please let me know if there are some other clarifications that you want down in the comments. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you're interested in more avenues of calm and pleasure growth, both online and offline, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Have a good day. See you soon.